<laughs> Say hi, Jordan. Hey guys, thanks very much for joining us for the post game press conference for the Clemson Tigers. We'll start off with an opening statement from head coach John Rittman and then take questions from the folks present and then we'll go to Zoom. Coach? Great win for the Tigers today. Uh, really proud of the way we came out in that first inning. Obviously, um, Cammy with a great first at bat, um, two strike battle, punched one in the left field, and then McKenzie with the big double there. And uh, you know, got off to a great start. Obviously, uh, they got Cagle and Gambarda out with two outs. And I love the way Vieira and Logaleo gave us two great at bats there with two outs and kind of opened it up a little bit. Um, Vieira with the big line drive and then Logaleo with the two strike hit the change up out of the park, which was huge. I think that gave everybody an opportunity to take a deep breath. Um, Millie, just an outstanding job in the circle. I mean, anytime you throw a no hitter, it's special, but to do it in postseason, I think we'll all remember that for the rest of our lives. Um, like the way we continue to put pressure on their pitching staff, uh, hit a lot of line drives today, had some great situational hitting, Logaleo, um, Odo with RBIs, and uh, of course, Sam Russ creating a lot of havoc on the bases. Total team effort today. Uh, really proud of, of the way we performed in our first home regional. Um, you know, just a special moment for our program. And we get about, uh, you know, 15, 18 hours to enjoy it. And uh, we get to go back to work tomorrow and uh, looking forward to that challenge. You know, it looked like your changeup was working really well for you, keeping them uh, off balance today. Um, you've been the game one starter for a couple of weeks now. How excited were you when you knew you were going to get the ball today? I was really, really excited. Um, I, I kind of felt like I would maybe throw today. And it was just, it was a great experience. I'm glad that they have trust in me to allow me to, you know, start that first game. So I'm really happy about it. Um, I, I guess you're, you're, this is a great no hitter, as Coach said, but you were just a couple of hit batters away from a perfect game yeah. there. Um, one just barely knew the, the hitter and the other looked like she turned her shoulder into it. Is it was it tough to, uh, to miss a perfect game by those two? Yeah, I think I was working on things as well. I was working on going in. I know I have to throw in and out and, uh, you know, against Auburn, against Louisiana. So uh, I just wanted to work on that. And unfortunately, you know, I hit a few people, but, you know, it's it'll prepare me for the next day. So. McKenzie, for you, you guys came out there, you kind of got things rolling and kind of just settled the whole thing down with that six run first. Can you talk about how big it was to come out there and play that well? Uh, like Coach said, after we got a few runs under our belt, it was a breath of relief uh, to say. But after that first inning and that first dive that Miller was throwing to, you know, uh, a girl swung a miss at the first changeup. I just got chills going down my back thinking about it. But <laughs> just what Coach said, complete team effort offensively and defensively. It was just outstanding today. Mackenzie, um, you're three for three today with two ribbies, four for four. Uh, or seven for seven with four ribbies the last two games. You feel like you're hitting about as, as high as you have all season right now. I think I'm doing okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to stay uh, humble, see ball, hit ball, not think too much of it. But what's the plan uh, the rest of the afternoon? Are you going to be scouting your, your next opponent here today? Yeah, we're going to try to keep it as normal as possible. I told the team, you know, certainly they can stay out and watch the game. It's regionals. Enjoy it. It's, it's awfully hot, so we got to make sure we're – we're not sitting in the sun too long and staying hydrated. It's nice to be at home, sleeping in our own bed, kind of getting in our routine. Um, we have a lot of family in town, so getting getting or being able to enjoy family is huge. And, you know, we've, we've worked hard to earn the right to host the regionals, and we want to enjoy it. And uh, we'll be ready to go tomorrow. Um, Millie, Coach said, you know, throwing a no-hitter is special, but doing it in the postseason, you know, something that you all will remember forever. What were your emotions when you got that final out there? Uh, I was trying not to think about it at the beginning, but, you know, I was just, it's just a total team thing. Like they said, you know, it was, a, the defense was great. And I think I'm going to remember that the most. It's just how special the support I have from this team, from the coaches and uh, from the players. And I think that's what I'll remember the most. Really, can you talk about your change up and how you use that as a weapon? Uh, I just, I don't, I don't honestly know how I throw it. I just, you know, throw it. today I had a, uh, one that was a strike and then one that was biting low and it kind of changes, um, which is tough sometimes, but I just, I just know that I'm comfortable with it and I'm going to throw it in any count in any situation. 
Coach, can you talk about that change up? Yeah, it's pretty filthy when it's on. And, and certainly, you know, today when she's throwing it at two different locations, it's extremely tough. And, and you saw the the uh, Wilmington hitters, they were pretty baffled with it today. And I think the biggest key with Millie is, you know, she just can't overthrow, you know, and we have a couple of sayings with her cues that keep her kind of focused. And one of them is less is more, you know, she gets out there and tries to throw 90 sometimes, adrenaline's flowing. And then if she can just settle in and get into the game. And then the key is her posture sometimes. Pitching with that changeup, it's so filthy. She has a tendency to get on her front side too much. And you just, you know, holler at her a couple of times. She picks it up and makes the adjustments really quick. And that's why she's so effective and such a good pitcher. Coach, uh, I guess you decided not to tinker with, with Logaleo's spot there in the lineup in the, the, the sixth spot. Um, how, how rare is it to have a hitter as hot as she is right now? It's pretty, it's pretty special. You know, I told you last week, I just like to sit back and watch when she gets hot. She's seeing it as, as she is right now. And, you know, our lineup, we, we have um, a tough lineup, you know, first to nine hitters. It's, it's really tough. And, and uh, you start tinkering sometimes over coaching a little bit, you can me mess with it. Uh, and we just like the way it is, you know, you go Gambarda righty, um, Kegel lefty, Gambarda righty, Vieira lefty, Logaleo righty, Sam lefty. So, you know, as a pitcher, it's tough going left, right, left, right, you know, and all of those players have the ability to hit the ball out of the park. And, you know, it's it's a nice luxury to have uh, power and speed up and down that lineup. Coach, for your team to have such an all-around dominant performance in the first game that you guys have ever hosted in terms of the tournament here, just how special is that, you know, that they rose to the occasion of this high-pressure moment in program history? Yeah, you know, as a coach, you think you're prepared, but you never know how your team's going to respond. Obviously, a big game, our first ever home regional, you know, a lot of emotion going into it, a huge crowd, electric atmosphere for a 12 o'clock on a Friday afternoon at 95 degrees. I mean, the crowd was awesome. It was awesome. And you just never know how a, a team's going to react to that. And, um, you know, but they, they responded. You know, they really did. And like we said earlier, I think the big first inning helped, you know, us take the nerves off a little bit. And. And certainly it'll, it'll help us prepare for tomorrow. You know, tomorrow's going to be a battle. We know that. Um, but really proud of the way we played today. And, and really, I mean, for us in our third year of existence to have another 40-win season, it's huge. We're awfully proud of that. And Mackenzie, Millie, what was that electric atmosphere like playing out there? Uh, you know, as soon as I heard Millie's walkout song come on, <laughs> you just heard the whole crowd get up and start clapping. And, like, that's when I finally – realized like I looked out in the berm and it was completely full and I could normally I can spot my parents out in the crowd but I couldn't even spot them today you know it was just absolutely insane for the first game it's pretty amazing to see how much fan support we had you know obviously this is a work day for most people and we have a full stadium right here like it's just amazing coach by my count um 13 run rule wins this season 18 shutouts you've been around the game a long time how, how rare is that you know, I really don't pay attention to that. A W is a W. We take them any way we can get them. And obviously winning is hard at this level. And, uh, you know, certainly it's, it's, it's a lot, you know, easier to coach when you score a lot of runs and you have pitchers that can dominate like Millie and Valerie and Reagan and Brooke. And, um, but, you know, for us, I think we are an explosive offense. We're very capable of putting up, you know, runs in, in a short amount of time. And, you know, the biggest key for us is to, to play clean defensively, continue to get that great pitching and, and get the timely hitting. You know, we know tomorrow's going to be a, a test for us. Any questions from you? Hey, yeah, Millie, this is David Hood with Tiger Net. I've got a couple of questions for you. Number one, uh, what is the deal with the captain's hat? I, I love seeing you. You wear it in the dugout, out on the, you know, uh, taking it out on the road with you. What's What's the deal with that? Honestly, there's no deal. I just like to have fun, and uh, it's brought a good energy and atmosphere into our dugout, and I think, you know, it's just a fun thing to have, and I think it's just good to keep, you know, things light in the situation, so that's kind of what I've done, and uh, I think it's worked, so. And for you, go, go back to last fall when you found out you had to have surgery, and, you know, you had surgery. There was probably doubt in your mind. You had to do the rehab. How special is it for you to get back to this point, play the game you love, have the day you had today, considering everything that you've, you've gone through? Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty special. You know, it was, it was really tough. Um, 
and I worked really, really hard to get back. So I'm really, really proud of it. Is that the scar on your left arm? Is that what that's from? Yes. When you see that, is it a constant reminder of the work that you've put in, of, of everything you've had to do to get back to this point? Yeah, I think there's good and bad days with scars. I mean, it's it's hard to look at sometimes, but um, definitely when things are going well, you know, it's a reminder of how much work and effort I've put into this and so much work to get back because, you know, I wasn't uh, at a point I wasn't prepared to be back as early as I was. So it, it's just really special to me. When your teammates kind of crowded around you there, how emotional was that at, there at the end of the game? You've thrown the no-hitter. And, and you're just embraced by everybody. How special was that? I think it's really special because it shows that, you know, that wasn't just me, you know, that's the whole team. And, um, you know, them coming around, just having that support. And it, it was a it was a team no-hitter. Um, I mean, the defense was amazing. And it's just so special and memorable. And those are the things, those moments are what I'm going to remember from this. And, and Aaliyah is her teammate. How hard are you pulling for her? Because you also know what she's been through. How hard are you pulling for her to not only get that no hitter, but, you know, also happy for her that, that she's gotten back to this point? You know, just with injuries in itself, it's hard to watch it happen and then to watch them fight day in and day out to get back to the spot they are. I know the second time uh, she injured her shoulder, like she came to the dugout and you – you knew that something was wrong. And to see her fight that and come back stronger than she left, it's just incredible. I know her and Millie have worked so hard in the training room for their rehab. Uh, I was almost tearing up there when Millie was talking about it. Just so much love for both of them, you know, and any injury, knee, arm, whatever it is, it's just, you have to be there for your teammate. You have to have their back because if they're going to have not only difficult days physically, but mentally it's exhausting. You can just see it on their face. You just have to stand behind them and have their back with that. Any other questions other from Zoom or, or anybody else that's here in person? Hearing none, thank you guys very much. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Congrats. Good luck. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, David.